Hi Capricorn, welcome to your weekly love messages. This, these will be from the 23rd until the 29th of February. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment down in the comment section below. Also, these are general love readings, so they're not going to resonate with every single person every single week. If it's not resonating with you this week, that's okay. Hit that notification button if you haven't already, and then go and check out one of the other tarot readers here on YouTube. Um, you can also hang around until the end of the reading if it's not resonating with you or fast forward if you want because I will be doing a three card pick a card um, that allows you to ask your questions of the universe, select the cards which are most resonating with you if I can ripple them properly um, and also get some clarity that way. If you feel like you need a personal reading, you can reach me using the information in the description box below. I don't know if I just said that. Today, we're going to be looking at your love situation, your feelings, your person's feelings, most likely outcome, romance angel advice. And like I said, we will finish on that three card pick a card. Okay, I've just changed decks for you guys because it wasn't working out for me in the last one. All right, let's go. Love messages, please, for Capricorn. Here we go, Capricorn. Ten of Wands. Knight of Cups. Knight of Wands in reverse. Two more, please. Capricorn, this is very similar to Leo energy, the Leo reading. So if you're dealing with a Leo, I would strongly encourage you to go and look at that because there's this push-pull, this I want to come towards you with my cup, but I'm not really stable. It's not exactly the same energy. It's a little bit different. Um, but there's this instability separating this Page of Cups and the Knight of Cups. And then the Three of Wands in reverse. Okay, can we clarify that Three of Wands in reverse, please? It's like someone has a burden of wanting to come towards you but not being uh, stable enough to do that. And by stable, I mean, yeah, look at this. Yeah, I feel like their plan's going to backfire on them, though. Give me one more, please, for the Three of Wands in reverse. That was the lovers, by the way. Yep. They want to commit, but they're non-committal. That's what I'm getting here. Um, they're afraid of commitment. They definitely have love for you. What's the Knight of Cups here, please? Tell me about the Knight of Cups. You could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or a, an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, of course, Taurus. Virgo Capricorn is also on the table there. Knight of Cups. Thank you. They're very heavily burdened. Yeah, see that because they're a thinker. Virgo's here. One more for the Knight of Cups, please. Two of Cups. Yeah, they're, they're overthinking this. They're like, uh, I really need to be sure. And what if this doesn't work out? And what if this person isn't the one? They've got a, the case of the what ifs. Tell me about the Page of Cups, please. What do they want to say? What do they want to say to Capricorn? Ooh, okay, king and queen. So they see you as a queen. So you're, that this is what they want. They want to talk to you, but they're afraid that you're going to reject them potentially. They are showing up as a king of pentacles who's not ready to commit. They love you. They have a lot of love for you, but they're just not ready to make those plans, those stable plans with you. What's interesting is you're a matching pair, but neither of you is ready to connect yet. You both have your own work to do. Uh, what's the knight of wands? So don't get hung up on the genders. I read the genders in the energy for, you know, whether it's your reading or the other person. Um, and that's just how it's come out. You're showing up as queen of pentacles and they're showing up as king of pentacles, but the, the genders can be reversed. Uh, Knight of wands, please, in reverse. Tell me about this. What's this instability? I feel like there's some sort of situation that's causing them to be unstable. Why do I feel that like this? It's, nothing's even come out yet. King of Cups, wow. So we've got the King of Cups, the Knight of Cups, and the Page of Cups. I feel like they think they need to live up to someone else's standard. 
either someone from their past standard, like someone that they look up to that is very good at relationships or um, like maybe a father figure, mother figure um, who they have a lot of respect for, or it's someone in your past that they feel like they can't compete with. Because this is the, this King of Cups is what's making them feel like unstable, like, oh, I don't know if I can do this, I don't know if I want to commit. It's a third party energy though. Yeah, this is their secret. It's a secret. They're keeping it to themselves. I feel like they feel like they're not, they're never going to be able to measure up. That's how I feel. And they've got this burden here as well with the Ten of Wands. They definitely have love for you. They definitely want to come towards you. Um, but they are afraid to commit to you. Thoughts and feelings, please, for Capricorn. Eight of Cups in reverse. So you're at the point where you're like ready to walk away, but physically, not emotionally. Yeah, you're trying desperately to work with what you've got to try and fix things, but it's you're feeling a bit hopeless about the whole thing. Tell me about Capricorn's other person, please. Tell me about Capricorn's other person. Thoughts and feelings for Capricorn's other person, please. Oh, okay, yeah, they know that they need to make a decision one way or another. So that Two of Pentacles fell out in reverse and then the, sorry, I pulled the Two of Pentacles in reverse, then judgment fell out on top of it. So really, decision, decision, decision. They know they've got to make a very big decision, major arcana here. This is a big decision. Um, they know they've got to make it. Decisions have been the theme for everyone this week. I don't know what the astrological climate is that's driving this, but... It sure is pretty. Yeah, they want they want to give to this situation. I feel like they just don't know how. No. Yes. Yeah. Look at this. They they don't. They know they want to give to the situation, but at the same time, they don't. It's like they feel like the cup is never going to be filled. Like they could never fill your cup. Like they could never be good enough. This is, it doesn't matter because ultimately they're having like a head and heart battle. The confidence is like breaking them or lack thereof is breaking them. They feel like they will never be good enough, but they really want the Ten of Cups with you. They want a happily ever after with you. Um, yeah, they definitely want this happily ever after with you. All right, let's see what the outcome is. What's the most likely outcome here, please, for Capricorn? So this week it's looking like there may not be any real progress. We've got the Ace of Wands in reverse and the Lovers in reverse. Okay, so there's still a lot of tension between the two of you. If you're in separation, expect that can to continue this week. They're still in this, I don't know what to do. They know they need to make a decision. They know what they want. They know they want to invest in this. They just don't feel like they can. Um, most likely outcome in the next two weeks, please. Well, next few weeks, ask for a few weeks. Next few weeks, most likely outcome for the next few weeks here in this situation, please. For Capricorn. Okay, it's not done. It's going to drag out a little bit more. Sorry, Capricorn. <laughs> That's the world card in reverse. Yeah, they don't want to miss an opportunity. They're not going to miss their opportunity. Four of Cups in reverse. Yeah. So I think that they're actually going to let go of all of this um, stress and worry. Tell me about the four of uh, pentacles in reverse, please. Yep, told you. They're letting go of burdens. So we clarified what that four of pentacles was. What are they letting go? I was like, oh my God, what are they letting go? But they're letting go of these burdens that started the entire situation. So they want to happily ever after with you. In the next few weeks, I expect that that's what will play out. Um, they're going to, they just need, like, so back off, give them their headspace, give them their time because they have to arrive at this situation or this decision on their own. And if you, if you pressurize them or put them under any pressure, you will only slow down the process or stick them in reverse. Okay. So it's really important that you hands off the wheel, even though you've got this information that this is where it's probably going to go. Um, just be patient, let them 
you give them this the room to to learn for themselves because this is their learning with the heart uh, with the um hermit here can i please have advice please i just gave you the advice we don't need to do advice no i'm joking i'm joking <laughs> see advice please for capricorn advice for capricorn in the situation <laughs> Let them come to you with the offer right there. Page of Pentacles. Let them offer you. Let them come up with the ideas. Let them come to you with what they're willing to give here. See this Six of Pentacles? They need to invest in you. They need to make the offer to invest. You cannot force them into this. I told you we'd already done advice. Two more, please. I love it. So funny. Capricorn. Yep. Ace of Cups in reverse. I know what this is going to say. Yeah. <laughs> if you try and force them to rush in and flip this Knight of Wands, you will end up with Ace of Cups in reverse. Okay. This is exactly what I said. If you try it, you need to sit back, let them come to you let, with their offer. Let them take their time. If you try and stick this Knight of Cups in the upright and rush it and move too quickly, you're only going to get sadness and uh, uh, Ace of Cups in reverse. And that's going to make everyone sad, including me. All right, let's do Romance Angel, please. Romance Angel for Capricorn. I'm so excited by this reading, Capricorn. I think it's really positive. This could be the one. Excellent. Told you. All right, that's what I have for you guys. Now, don't forget, if you need a personal reading, you can reach out to me using the information in the description box below. Please, please, please make sure you read all the information because otherwise it will slow you down in getting a reading and I don't want that to happen. All right, let's go into the three card, pick a card. Think of a question you would like answered. It doesn't need to be in relation to this reading. I'm going to select three cards. Whichever card you're most drawn to is the answer to your question. Card number one. Card number two. And card number three. Okie dokie. If you are most drawn to card number one, your answer is no with an exclamation mark. So whatever you're asking about, universe says no. And then that's for your good reason. Okay, so trust that. Don't fight it. Just go with it. If you are most drawn to card number two, your answer is unlikely. Okay, there's a few roadblocks here today, Capricorn. So, um, yep, take that as it, as it reads. If you are most drawn to card number three, you have a yes which is very self-explanatory. Excellent. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. I love reading your comments. So I uh, read and respond to every single one of them. Uh, look forward to hearing from you all. Don't forget, like, share, subscribe, and I'll talk to you all very soon. Have a great week. Bye.